Wow. So that was fantastic. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today uh, we are having some Japanese bento from Maruichi Select. Uh, we've been there before uh, when we went to the, uh, the tuna cutting show uh, and I'll show you the link to the video up there. And uh, they actually have a full service kitchen in there. Uh, they do prepare a lot of their own sushi in-house as well as uh, there's uh, hot foods available uh, to enjoy in-house or for takeaway. Uh, and they also make bento. And I decided I just wanted to feature some of their bento as well as one of their new hot food products, which is takoyaki. So this wasn't previously available there at that store. So I'm interested to try this out. So let's get into it. Okay, here we go, takoyaki. All right, so. Takoyaki are these little fried, <laughs> they look like donut holes, but they, they don't taste like donut holes. They're little octopus dumplings, I guess, is what the best way to describe it is. Uh, kind of like a pancake batter surrounding a little chunk of octopus. Some uh, shaved, uh, dried uh, bonito uh, on top with some, uh, with some sauce as well. Give it a taste. Mm-hmm. That's a very good fresh takoyaki. A lot of places around Boston, you don't actually get them cooked fresh. They're like reheated and sometimes you'll get them and it looks like they just drop some pre-made frozen ones in the deep fryer. But well, these ones are nice. They're creamy and silky on the inside. It's just a very creamy batter. And then you have these little bits of octopus right there. A little piece of octopus, always a little prize in the center. And then we have all of this, uh, there's a little mayo, as well as the uh, uh, takoyaki sauce or bulldog sauce, which, uh, which I also have here. So let's, uh, let's get another taste. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. So they have these set up in a little hot container. You can just grab them and take them out. Uh, and then uh, have a nice little bit of a Japanese street food on the go. That's perfect. Oh, wow. I'm going to enjoy eating more of these later, but I have a few other things to try. So the first bento box that I got is the pork tonkatsu bento. And you can see it's pretty much a, a complete meal. For this box with a whole pork cutlet, the rice, some uh, omelet, pickles, and uh, looks like burdock root, $13.99. Not a bad deal for a nice meal. A good sized portion too. Okay, first bite. Let's take a nice piece of this pork bunkatsu. Mmm, very good. And because it comes with that really sour, sweet, salty sauce, a little bit of rice really goes well with that. Mmm, oh yeah. The cutlet isn't um, overcooked. And even though I know this was cooked probably this morning, so it's not warm, 
uh, because it was in the in a refrigerated case uh, but it hasn't gotten soggy I mean it's not super crisp but it's also not wet it's not soaking wet underneath it which is which is good now they you can also get the tonkatsu there cooked prepared fresh as part of a have a as a set meal uh, uh, but like I said I just wanted to see what their grab-and-go bento tasted like uh, I didn't want to make that com comparison all right let's get in some these uh, pickles Mm. Always get these little side dishes when you get a, a bento. Some of these other pickled vegetables. Mmm. Mm. That's delicious. A little bit of green beans, some carrots. Mmm. And then we'll try the uh, magoyaki. Mmm, a little sweet. I've had some of these that are a little bit more savory. Um, uh, that uses a just more of a plain dashi, but this has got a little more uh, sugar in this omelet. Mmm, excellent. All right, one more bento to try. Da -da. <laughs> this is what I really was excited about. They have an eel bento or unaju, uh, uh, which is basically a eel over rice. Very classic uh, Japanese dish. Uh, and what's unique about this store is they uh, prepare their eel themselves in-house uh, so a lot of a lot of sushi places will actually order it already prepared barbecued and cooked and they just reheat it or steam it to warm it up but this was prepared in-house by Maruichi Select so this is something special and the cost for this about $20 not a bad deal especially when you're we're talking about uh, really fresh uh, freshly prepared eel, uh, unagi. So let's get into this. I'm excited. Looks fantastic. We have this nice, freshly prepared, grilled, barbecued, uh, freshwater eel, also known as unagi. Uh, and the preparation, I guess, I guess this is called kabayaki style. Uh, but let's get a taste of that. Mmm. Not too fishy. It's gentle, delicate, very fatty texture. The skin is very rich and gelatinous. And that you have to enjoy the skin on the eel. It's just got this just jelly-like cooling kind of sensation that just kind of melts in your mouth. Mmm. So good. And another bite of that. Mm, look at that. Nicely grilled piece of fish. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's very satisfying. Mmm. Oh, there's even uh, even more hidden underneath the egg there. There's even even more grilled charred dark pieces here <laughs> here's the really charred uh barbecued piece from the from the tail end i guess or yeah it looks like the tail end of the eel mm. it's a very rich and fatty and you can tell how that that fat kind of melted out and it crisped up and uh, and then it just oozes out when you bite into it it's just mm. yeah wow this is a unique experience you don't get to have really unagi prepared this way in the United States that often it's, it's pretty rare that a restaurant will actually prepare it themselves this is great wow mmm
Wow. So that was fantastic. All right. That's it, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me with this video. Uh, so if you're in uh, the Brookline area or you're just interested in trying some Japanese bento, um, visit Maruichi Select. Uh, they have plenty of different things that they offer on a rotating basis as well as their own uh, sec selections of Japanese gifts, some very interesting specialty food items as well as household items. Uh, they also have specially imported items from Japan uh, by prefectures, so uh, they may have a special event featuring uh, items from just one region of Japan. Uh, so uh, check out Maruichi Select and uh, Check out our other video of Maruichi Select if you're interested in the tuna cutting show. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.